Hello everyone. Let's start with the task number 29. This is a very important task where we are going to uh, print different various patterns uh, with the help of C programs. Okay. So what I've done is I have made a, a massive list of patterns for you to practice. We will see a few of them and give you the different uh, ways in which you can handle uh, problems of patterns. Okay. So this, these are the different uh, uh, list of patterns that uh, I have uh, shown over here. So we will try to cover a few of them. Okay. So let's begin with the basics and the, the simplest one. So this is the first pattern that we are going to cover. Let's let me explain you how we are going to cover right so let me copy it onto my board okay so this is the pattern that we are going to make right so always remember you will be given uh, in any examination you will be given only a part of the pattern okay so the user will be entering the size of the pattern and this pattern should be printed based on the size uh, what the user enters right so it, sh it is not like you are going to print only five stars or four stars right so uh, this is just a sample of the pattern that you have to print okay so uh, in any pattern problem the first uh, thing that you should do is find uh, find or ask the user what is the size of the pattern or basically what are the number of rows of the pattern that you need right so let's say in this case the user has entered he needs he or she needs five rows right so that's why there are one two three four five rows right now a very important thing to note is whenever there is a problem of patterns always remember there will be at least two for loops okay so there will be two for loops which will be nested one inside the other right so uh, the first for loop will be for the rows and the second for loop will be for the columns okay so uh, if you look at this uh, in this particular case so there this is the row okay So this I can say this is row number zero, this is row number one, this is row number two, this is row number three and this is row number four, right? And if you look at this, this is column zero, this is column one, this is column two, this is column three and the last one is column four, right? Now if you look at the uh, relation with row and column, you will uh, find understand what should be the condition inside your second for loop, right? So basically in the first row, you have zero as the index and here also uh, for uh, just as a, for the sake of understanding, just remember that in the first, this is the first row, right? So the first row has one star and uh, only one star right in the second row there are two stars right and in the third row there are three stars right so basically the row number is equivalent to the number of stars right so that is just to uh, understand that how many stars you have to print uh, inside one row right so what is going to happen is you are going to print the uh, elements row by row okay so you are going to come here in the first loop you are going to be in the first row right and you have to print everything inside this row right so right now you only have to print one star right and that's it right so you have to break after that then you come over here in the second row you have to print two stars right then in the third row you have to print three stars in the fourth row you have to print uh, four stars like that so on and so forth right so let's see how to implement this with the help of 
nested for loops okay okay so we are ready with the uh, program right so let's start writing the program so as uh, as i've already mentioned whenever there is a pattern we need two loops right nest two nested loops so we will declare the counter variables okay so let's uh, let's say i is the counter variable for the row and j is the counter variable for the column okay so we have two uh, loops uh, with two counter variables right then let us say n is the size of the pattern or basically the number of rows that you need for the pattern right and this this will be entered by the user okay so let's uh, let's tell the user what this program is uh, okay so once this is done let's okay so let's take the input from the user uh, what is the size of the pattern right so for that i will use scanf right then percentage d and ampersand sign n right so that will uh, get the input at the same time i would like to tell the user what they have to enter right so enter the size of pattern right so once that is done everything all the inputs have been taken now we are ready to get the uh, print the pattern right now to print the pattern i already told you we need for two for loops right so let's write the first for loop so for the first for loop is for the rows and we are going to use i for the rows right so we'll start i from 0 so since uh, we have seen in the uh, board that we will be starting from 0 and going up till the number of rows that the user has entered that is n right so uh, if the user enters 5 then that means the user requires 5 rows right so since you are starting from 0 you have to go one less than the uh, the number entered by the user right so that means if the user enters 5 then you have to run the for loop for 0 to 4 okay then only it will become 5 if you run till 5 it will become 6 rows right so that's why i will write i less than n right so if i is less than n the loop will execute right and then i will write i plus plus right so that will simply print uh, so that will simply run for uh, the n number of times right so if the user enters five it will this loop will run five times okay so we have covered the rows right now we want a loop to print the uh, columns right so to run the columns we will have another loop for loop right here i will start with instead of i i will start with j and uh, if you look at the columns inside my board the columns of j that is columns also start from 0 to 0 to a value that is dependent on i okay on the row okay so if it is uh, let's say the third row okay so the third row the number of stars that means it will start from zero it will go till two and two is nothing but your i value right so just to keep this in mind i will start back over here so i will start from zero always right and then it will go up till j should be less than or equal to i okay as we have seen in the chart right then i will do j plus plus 
okay so now we have two for loops nested for loops one for the row the outer one is for the low row and the inner one is for the column okay and now what you have to do is we just have to uh, in the in, uh, inner for loop i just every time it runs it should print a star right so print f i will just print a star sorry star that's it right now till now the program is not over yet so i will just show you what happens if the program is run at this point right so uh, okay i have missed the semicolon i will run and it asks for the pattern size if i enter 5 it does print the required amount of stars but there is no new line right so that is a uh, that is the problem over here so what we can do is so what happens is if you come back to the board after the uh, first row and column finishes okay sorry the first column finishes it has to do a new line right similarly when after it prints two stars that means when it goes just before when it goes to the new row it should print a new line right so if we come back we can see that this is the column right and when it comes over here you are doing after this block okay after it comes over here it comes and does an i plus plus right that means at this point if you add a printf statement that means just before you do i plus plus if you do a printf statement just to do a, a backslash n what happens is as soon as your column finishes printing all the stars okay so basically your column is done and after every column is done you are going to print a backslash n right so if you print again this time if i print uh, the pattern size of 7 you can see my pattern coming into picture right so what is happening is you uh, in the first iteration i is equal to 0 that means you are at this place right and then inside this column you are going to do it for j equal to 0 right so j equal to 0 it will run once because j and i are same so this loop will run once and it will print one star right in the second iteration i is equal to 1 it is in the new row right so just before going to the new row it is print printing a new line that's why it came from here to here right so once that is done next step is to uh, increment the value of i so i becomes one now so now here i will run for zero and one right because it is less than equal to right since since it is less than equal to that means it will uh, print two stars that's why in the second row there is two stars in the third iteration i will be three right uh, sorry i will be two because in the second iteration i was one so in the third iteration i will be two and if you uh, come over here i j value will start from zero and go up till two so zero to two it will print three stars so that's why in the third row there are three stars and so on till the pattern finishes okay so let's try try to run it once more let's have a bigger pattern and you can see it can print any number of any size of the pattern okay so this was uh, one example okay let's try some other patterns okay so let's take the next pattern okay so we will take a few of them so let's take this pattern now so if in this pattern uh, if you see what what are what is the difference between the previous one okay so the previous one was uh, if you look at this the previous one uh, was of this shape and the new one is something like this right so in this what you're going to do is uh, it's all about the uh, way you number the elements right let's say you have five rows right so uh, you start with number four this is three this is two this is one and this is zero okay so either you can number is number it in this form or 
uh, much more understandable form will be uh, let's say uh, there are five rows you can number this as five four three two and one right and similarly this will be uh, this uh, will be zero one two three four right if you're numbering it in this way or if you can if you want to number it in the same way as uh, the rows you can write it as one two three four five okay so what you have done here is you have just numbered the this is these are the i values and these are the j values okay now let's let's look at the, uh, the values how you have to put right so in this case the i value is 5 okay if you can just uh, uh, this is just uh, by observation that uh, you are starting the you are just counting the number of stars over here and you are just putting that number over here right so it is 5 then 5 4 3 2 1 okay and these are just the column numbers that you have given right so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so now look at the number of stars in the columns okay number of stars in the columns even though there are five columns over here the number of stars in the columns depends on the row okay if the row number is 3 then the number of stars is only 3 right so these are the stars so we have to always remember that j is always dependent on i okay so that thing we have to find out right so once you uh, identify that uh, logic then the entire patterns problem will be very easy right so since we have numbered it let's uh, put this number uh, onto our for loop okay so let's go to our for loop so this is the previous pattern that we have done so in the new pattern uh, our i starts from uh, 4 or, or sorry 5 right 5 is nothing but the size of the pattern right so that is n right so your number starts with n and it should go up till 1 right so it is going if you go back over here this is just the maximum number of your uh, pattern right so it is going from 5 up till 1 right that means greater than 0 right it has to be greater than 0 so I will just put over here 0 and this should be greater than 0 okay so this n let's suppose n value is 5 so n will go from 5 to 0 right so that means it should decrement the value of i right that means this should be minus minus okay so we are going in the reverse direction this time now come to the inner loop now look at the inner loop if we go in the inner loop inner loop is going in the positive direction only okay this is going in the neg uh, in the reverse direction whereas this is going in the positive direction so this is still j plus plus only but this will be i minus minus right so let's come over here and again what we, what was the number that we have given j was starting from 1 right so this will be starting from 1 and the value should be going up till value of i right so the the number of stars depends on the uh, row number right so that means j should go up till i and then j should increment right so this is the only change that you have to do everything else is the same let's try to run it and let's put the pattern as 7 and you can see we get a reversed pattern okay the same thing is possible with the uh, uh, different i just showed you this numbering method you can do the same problem with the previous way of numbering that means starting from zero this will also that will also give you the same result right so it, it completely depends on which type of uh, which way you want to start your numbering either from zero or from one okay it doesn't matter much uh, as as such both will work in the same manner okay let's take some other uh, examples let's go to the pdf okay so like this you can solve any examples right now let's take the third pattern right now the third pattern uh, is 
exactly the same as the uh, previous pattern right uh, sorry the first pattern if you look at this this pattern it is the same only difference is uh, there is a dollar and asterisk both are there okay now very important thing to note is to identify what is the pattern right and if you look at the sequence you can see this pattern is dependent on the row right so this pattern is dependent on the row and if the row is let's say let's start numbering first okay so this is let's say because this is a uh, uh, of type 1 the i will be incrementing right let's start with row number 1 row number 2 row number 3 row number 4 and row number 5 right so these are my rows and these from here are my uh, columns so uh, columns row no column number 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so five rows five columns now look at the uh, dollar sign when are the dollar signs coming right when dollar signs are coming whenever the row is one three and five that means whenever the row is odd you have to print dollar and whenever the row is even you have to print asterisk okay so let's go back to our uh, problem okay and let's uh, start with uh, so let's start with the number numbering that we have given uh, we have started with one and went up till five and the uh, columns also one till five right so let's start from one okay so start from one and go up till five five is nothing but your n right so it should be less uh, less than n right since it is uh, e uh, we are starting from 1 always remember it should be less than equal to uh, n right so that it runs those many times right and since we are going in the positive direction this should be plus plus okay so this this will be incrementing okay so the next iteration will be 2 and 3 and so on right and in the j we are doing the same thing from 1 to uh, less than equal to i so this is perfect now instead of printing star every time okay if i run this right now what you will get is the star pattern right instead of printing this pattern i will simply go and i will just print based on some condition okay i will not print directly okay now the condition is dependent on the row or the column so that we have to decide right so we have already said whenever the row is odd it is dollar sign right so that means row that means i right so we have to check if i mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 okay that means it is even right so whenever it is even i am going to print asterisk okay and else else that means it is odd right so i'm just going to print a dollar sign okay so this means it is odd so it is going to print a dollar sign and in this case it is even so that's why it is going to print a asterisk sign okay so let's print it let's let the pattern size is seven you can see we got the result okay so this can be extended to any uh, num number of uh, types of patterns right so you may get uh, let's say uh, uh, at the rate symbol and uh, this thing right so instead of uh, dollar you get at the rate sign right and uh, you may even get uh, some values where uh, let's say uh, all the numbers you it is all about identifying the pattern let's say uh, whenever the number is divisible by 3 you have to print an asterisk otherwise you are going to print dollar okay so let's run that and find what happens you can see whenever it is divisible by 3 you have a asterisk okay otherwise you are printing dollar okay so such many programs can be done with the help of this particular 
pattern okay this particular method okay so let's uh, let's try some other patterns okay now the fourth pattern you can see now some of the patterns that are there inside this okay so before going ahead with the fourth pattern ju just look at this okay um, look at this pattern okay so i will just take this into our board and i will just let you analyze this okay so let us number this again like uh, all the previous ones okay since this is a uh, uh, we are just going to number it based on the number of uh, characters in that particular row since there is only one character in this row i am going to start by one two three four five and six so these are my row numbers and these are my column numbers one two three four five and six right now look at this at number one we we have at the rate at number two we have at the rate and at the rate at number three we have at the rate as well as dollar sign right so that means this particular logic is not dependent on rows okay now I'll come to the columns in the columns when it is one you can see all the numbers are at the rate all the characters are at the rate when it is two all the characters are at the rate right when it is three the characters are dollar right then when it is four it is at the rate five it is at the rate and when it is six it is dollar that means this particular pattern is dependent on the column and also it is it changes uh, the character whenever it the number is divisible by three right so we just have to find out if that index of j okay j is nothing but the column if it is divisible by three then that uh, we have to print dollar otherwise we are going to print uh, this uh, at the rate right so it is the same program that we have done over here right only thing is we uh, instead of i we are going to check for the column that is j okay and we are going to check if it is divisible by three if it is divisible by three we are going to put uh, i think is it uh, yeah if it's divisible by three i am going to put dollar uh, otherwise we are going to put at the rate okay so let's run this and put and you can see we got the pattern correct okay right uh, i hope you have understood so like this many patterns uh, you can um, find out with the help of this right um, let's take another pattern before we go ahead and look at this this pattern okay let's take it inside our board okay so these steps of patterns are also uh, common in the exams okay so let's start by numbering again so the our numbering starts from your uh, number of characters in that row right so in that row the characters are one two three four right so in the fourth row there are four characters that's why i have marked them as four and columns you just number it one by one one two three four okay so once this is done okay so once this is done we can uh, find out what is the logic behind it right so the logic is very simple right so when uh, the things uh, thing is that it is dependent on the characters right so whenever it is in the first column it is writing it as a whenever it reaches the second column it writes b whenever it reaches in the third column it writes c right so here it is dependent on the column you can understand it from here right whenever the column changes the character changes right 
now i will show you another example before writing the program for this uh, i must be having it somewhere here you can look at this example okay so here your character changes when the row changes okay so in the first row it is z in the second row it is y in the third row it is x and so on right so this this is how you identify whether it is dependent on the row or the column okay so in our uh, the first case pattern 5 it is dependent on the column right so let's go to the program so uh, the triangle is perfect right so we are printing the triangle right now but instead of printing um, the value of uh, the character right so what we are going to do is we are going to do a printf right and inside printf i am going to do percentage c right and inside percentage c i am going to print the character a right just to see what happens right if i just run this now let's say pattern size of 7 you can see you are simply printing a right but i don't want it something like this right i want the first character to be a then it should be a b then that means it should it has to be dependent on the j value right that means the column value so what i can do is i can simply add the value of uh, whatever is the um, value of this thing or uh, j to the character right and uh, if i add j to this just see what happens and uh, once we run this we find the output then we can tweak it accordingly okay let's see you can see it is starting from b okay now you may you may have understood why it is starting from b it is because you have a the value of j starts from 1 right so a plus 1 it actually starts from uh, because a plus 1 gives you b right uh, in terms of ascii it will give you b right that's why it is starting from b so what i have to do is i just have to subtract 1 from here so that the first value becomes uh, becomes equal to a right if i run this again give the size of the pattern and you can see i'm getting the result right perfect so similarly the same thing can be done uh, with the help of i also right so if i do this with the help of i you can see what happens okay so this is what happens uh, if you're doing i okay so once we uh, have we have done with this uh, we can take a few more patterns okay so we have covered this also right uh, we have seen this similarly we can do this also these are these are just easy patterns okay so let's take this onto the board this pattern onto the board and see how we can tackle this problem okay so as we have done with the other problems let's start numbering the rows and columns okay so the rows is uh, you can start see here there are five five characters so five four three two one then again it starts with two three four and five right so basically this is the uh, rows uh, the structure of the rows so here from here you can understand that there are actually two uh, f uh, type of uh, two loops going on right for the rows itself right so for the rows also there are two loops so basically you can tackle this in uh, a different way okay so what you can do is you can uh, handle this particular pattern as one problem and then this pattern as a another problem right and print it 
together right so that will give you the result for this right so let's start with the uh, above pattern first right let's begin so the above pattern is actually starting from uh, let me uh, go back so the, it's 5 right so 5 means it is n is the maximum value of the number of rows so it is n so it is starting from n and it is going up till uh, 1 right it is going up till 1 so that is greater than 0 so when I say greater than 0 it will go up till 1 and since it is starting from 1 and going till 0 this should be I minus minus right so it, it is going in the uh, reverse direction right so once I get this and let's go back and find out the values of the columns okay values of the columns are still the same okay undo We'll just take the pen well, columns are still the same right that means the columns values doesn't change so it is starting from 1 and it is dependent on the value of j uh, sorry i right so this is perfect right and now instead of just writing this i just i will just print f a star right and if I just run this right now, it will uh, print a pattern of size 5, right? Perfect. Okay. So we have done with the half part, right? Now I'm going to copy this entire thing, come down and I'm going to tweak it in such a way that now it completes the second part. The second part is the below triangle right now the below triangle starts from 2 and goes up till 5 right so it starts from 2 and goes up till 5 5 is nothing but your n right so n and it should be less than equal to n right because it has to reach till n and since it is going to 2 n so it is incrementing right so I will do plus plus and the remaining thing is as it is right so if I run this right now and if my size of the pattern is 5 you can see I get my result perfectly okay so this is how you create your patterns okay let's try one more last pattern uh, okay so this is a very good pattern that you should we should this is a bit complicated uh, okay so let's tackle this this is the last one that we are going to handle okay so in this one again before doing any uh, row numbering or anything you should understand that this is not a simple pattern okay so uh, you must have already understood that in this particular case in the first row there are a uh, few stars in the second row you have a, uh, you have fewer stars but it starts with a space at the beginning right so here there is a space right here there is one space right in the next case here there is two spaces okay then here there are three spaces then four spaces and so on right so basically here what it what it uh, hap what happens over here is it, here you will get a separate triangle that is happening right so this triangle is made but instead of a asterisk like this is like our first program first uh, ex, uh, task that we have seen this is like this but instead of asterisk we are uh, we are going to print sp spaces right we are going to print empty spaces right so that is the task and after that we are going to uh, make this triangle right so if you recall let's uh, find out the number of characters 
right so to tackle this let's uh, 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 run the number of characters so in the first case in this row there are one two three four five six seven eight so we start from eight stars then here uh, again we have um, eight stars sorry seven stars and uh, i'm going to have a two numbers over here this are these are my uh, this is my values of i right so here there are eight stars and zero spaces right here there are seven stars and one space here there are six stars right and two spaces okay uh, in fact there are spaces here also but that will be handled automatically right so we need not worry about the spaces on the right side we are only worried about the spaces on the left side right so next we go over here there are five uh, stars and here uh, you have three spaces right and then uh, we go ahead uh, we have four stars and four spaces okay so it goes like that till it reaches three two one okay and here it becomes uh, five six seven okay so this is how it becomes right so let us start programming this and see how to handle this right so let's begin so in this case i will just remove the second for loop in the previous program i will start from n that is perfect right because uh, my values of i start from 8 and it goes up to 1 right so that is perfect it goes from n to 1 because it is greater than 0 and it does minus minus that is perfect and j is also perfect it is the it is going from uh, 1 to the number what whatever is the number in i right so this is uh, uh, this is perfect and it is printing stars right so right now everything is perfect and if i run this let's see what is the pattern that we, that we get so if i enter 7 we do get the pattern but we have not yet programmed to put that triangle of the space over here right once that is there then we get we will get the pattern that we want right so what we have to do is after uh, sorry before printing the star we have to start the printing of the spaces right so let us see how the spaces are to be printed right so let us find the relation between uh, the value of um, the i and let's say this is k okay so let's call this as k okay so let us see if k is dependent on i so k when uh, what is the value of k k is simply uh, whatever is the maximum that is if it is 8 then uh, it is 8 minus 8 that is 0 right so if it you have 7 stars so it is uh, 8 minus 7 that is 1 right that means you your formula for k should be whatever is the maximum rows that you want that means n right so k is nothing but n minus i right so let's see whether it works or not n here is 8 right because the number of rows we want is 8 so n is 8 and the first row value of i is 8 so 8 minus 8 0 so k value is 0 right so this is what we want so we can check for the remaining stuff so now we have understood we need a third for loop that should be above the first for loop sorry so, so inner for loop right so let's start with another for loop for loop and uh, we need another variable called k so let's get that variable k declare it and now k will start from it will always start from 0 
or you can start it from uh, let's say we start it from zero right zero till um, k less than the value of n minus i okay so that is the formula that we have written over there and we are going to do k plus plus okay and if that is the case then i will simply do printf a space okay so in the first case your i value is actually uh, let's say n the entered value of n is 8 okay let's suppose the user enters the size of the pattern as 8 so i becomes 8 in the first iteration it comes over here so n is 8 i is 8 so k will be 0 uh, sorry this value will be 0 and k starts from 0 so this initially will be false so none of the spaces will be printed for the first loop okay so let us see uh, what happens in the second iteration so second iteration you do i minus minus right so this becomes 7 sorry i becomes 7 and n value is still 8 so 8 minus 1 that is uh, 8 minus 7 that is 1 so k is 0 0 is less than 1 so one space will be printed right uh, so that is what we want if you look at over here when it comes to second row one space has to be printed right so let us see uh, if you continue the iteration you will find that that is what we want right let's run this pattern and you can see we get a uh, pattern but uh, we are having uh, the pattern but the spacing is a bit of a problem right so to handle that what we can do is we can slightly tweak this okay so we can add a space over here and see if that helps us and you can see that helps us perfectly okay so this is what the pattern is required for us right so you can see how the twist uh, no little bit of tweaking helps right okay so i hope you have understood uh, how we have done this okay and how the pattern problem is to be handled right so similarly there are lots of patterns that you can practice and find out what is the logic behind these patterns okay and uh, any queries uh, you can comment on this video and let me know uh, if you need help with any of the patterns. Thank you.